this is my old gaming setup and today it's getting a huge upgrade the first upgrade is not really a room upgrade but more of a pc upgrade my original aio was kind of going out and making this really weird noise and the temps were rising so msi sent me out their s360 core liquid cooler to put into my new pc so first i had to get all of it unplugged and take out the old aio cooler and get this new one installed and it was quite a lengthy process But after I got the old AIO out, it was time to put in the new one. And I honestly think this core looks better and performs better with better temps than my other one as well. But I will say it is a beautiful build and I think that this turned out amazing. The next room upgrade is technically just a different color scheme and I wanted to try to make this new aesthetic. Since I moved in this house, I've always used a blue and white gaming setup. I liked it for a little bit, but I think it's time to change it up. For this new color scheme, I wanted to do black and white and I've seen a lot of black and white setups on the market and I really wanted to make mine better. So I started with taking off all my keycaps and re-putting on some new ones that match the aesthetic of the room. Then I swapped out the mouse pad with a Topo mouse pad from my website, and it's honestly pretty incredible. I love this colorway. I also had to add the spacebar on the keyboard, of course, because it matches and looks beautiful. Then I went on Wallpaper Engine to find a brand new wallpaper for my setup. Now, I found this black and white aesthetically pleasing wallpaper, and it goes across all three of my screens, and it looks pretty decent. I really love it. I was so committed to making this setup beautiful in the black and white aesthetic that I even hired one of my friends, Nacho Customs, to completely revamp my Razer Viper Mini to a white Topo theme. It's honestly probably one of the best looking mice on the market and it's beautiful it even has my logo and it lights up which is pretty damn incredible after i finished doing my entire color scheme there was one more product that i wanted to add to my gaming setup and i feel like this is very important so if you guys know i stream on twitch and my lighting is never consistent so I found a solution to this and I think it's actually really interesting. Since my main streaming camera is on an Elgato multi-mount like the one you're seeing right here, it's upside down. So I can put a stream light that goes right into the hook of the top of the camera. And this gives it an entirely new face lighting and I love this look. This is the S20 by Switty and it's a beautiful little LED lamp that goes on the top of your camera. Now I'll show before and after of my old stream clips and my new stream clips and tell me which lighting is better in the comments because I personally think the new lighting looks a ton better. Now the next upgrade is actually a table lamp and I wanted some more lighting because in this corner of my desk it just seems so dark. So I actually bought a Govi table lamp. You can get this on Amazon for about 30 to 40 dollars and it has a premium build quality to it. After getting out of the box the lighting that it emits is such a beautiful background to my videos without even seeing it right now in this A-roll is right there it looks beautiful by the way after getting out of the box i just love the aesthetic it gave me and it was super easy to set up with all my smart home devices it took less than 10 minutes to get it out of the box and all set up which is beautiful what do you guys think about the spacing and where it's out on my desk i think it's literally perfect Still talking about the productivity setup though, let's pan to the left. Now there was these ugly nano leaves there that I felt like had no use for this area. So I decided to build my own charging station. Now I've seen a couple of people on the internet do these and honestly they look like a pain in the ass to make and trust me it was. Because me and my cousin spent about 20 hours on this project and all it is is to charge all of my camera batteries and everything that I need to charge goes in one spot. Now I think this is one of the most essential things for any content creator because it charges all of your camera batteries lighting batteries all of that stuff is in one spot and that beautiful beautiful idea but it's a lot of work so we went to ikea we got a pegboard and then we planned out how all of the charging things on this board is going to stay and how it's going to look we routed wires we planned out where everything was going to go and then we decided how are we going to get everything to fit the first thing was that we needed to have the pegboard lift off of the wall that way all of the cables would fit and this was a pain because IKEA pegboards don't have extensions, so we had to make our own. Once I planned everything out, I wired everything to the pegboard so it was freestanding. Then it was time to run all the cables through the pegboard so it looked clean and it didn't have any wires showing. I just wanted it to look very clean, which I bought all white wires for. 
Then we wanted to build a shelf at the bottom to hold my lenses and extra miscellaneous things that I had on the shelf. We had this little wood piece that we painted white and then we mounted some L brackets at the bottom of the pegboard to give it that little floating look. After about 20 hours of work going to different hardware stores, etc., get everything to go, it was so much work, but we finished it. And it honestly looks pretty incredible. Let me know what you guys think down below because this was a large project and I hope you guys enjoy it because I put a lot of effort into this. So moving on from the productivity side of everything, it was time to do some little room upgrades and I kind of wanted to give a new aesthetic to the other side of my room. I had this empty area past my nightstand and it was very blank. It just had nothing in it and it was very boring. And I've always wanted a freestanding mirror and I thought this would be a beautiful place for it since there's nowhere else in my room to put it. So I had this mirror sitting around from when I bought it from Ikea a while ago and I decided to hook it all up. Once I unwrapped the mirror, it looked pretty good in this corner, but I feel like there's a few things I could add to make it better. First off, I had a bunch of shoes stacked near my setup and I felt like this kind of was the wrong place for them because putting all my shoes near a setup didn't really make sense. So I decided to move these shoe boxes right next to the mirror next to my nightstand. That way it's out of the way and if I'm getting dressed out of my nightstand or my dresser it's right there and it's not a big deal. So I did these little shoe container things and they stack and they look pretty incredible in this corner as well. Then to add to the mirror's depth it's a vertical standing light bar by Govi and it's honestly pretty cool. It has a weight at the bottom to hold it upright and you can put it behind things to give it glow. So what I did is I put this behind the mirror and I faced it toward the back of the mirror because the back of the mirror has like a shiny white material makes everything glow brighter. So once I did that, it looked pretty awesome and I think I did a pretty good job. I think the lighting looks really, really dope. And especially if I'm taking pictures in the mirror, it looks even better. Then to the left of the mirror on the wall, I wanted a place to put my hats because I wear a lot of hats on stream and I wear a lot of hats outside of stream. So I wanted a unique way to show it and my cousin had a brilliant idea. So I got some 3M hooks and we spaced them exactly on the wall to give this floating hat look. It actually added a lot of depth to the wall. I think this is a really cool way of organizing your hats without having to buy a shelf or anything. These are $6 at Walmart and you can do these yourself. Make sure you space them right though. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow the Twitch down below. See you there.